If this is your first time tuning in, today I'm gonna to share with you the tips that I learned from Dr. McDougall in a recent Zoom call and what he wrote to me afterwards to help with maximum weight loss. If you'd like to know what he shared with me, you need to watch the entire video because some of it's at the end as well as in between, sandwiched all in between. So this is for myself to go back and take a look at and I hope you enjoy. Hi ladies, my name is Lori and I will never diet again. I'm a conservative Christian, a wife, mother, grandmother, pastor's wife, and my family and I have lived in Mexico since 2004. I'm so glad you've come to join me today. Oh, good morning ladies, how are you? I will never diet again. This morning I am really laid back. I am very, very tired. I've had a couple of very exciting days. Uh, Monday, well, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, they were very exciting days, and I still have another one today, but I have uh, a couple hours before the excitement starts. I'm trying to get rid of this uh, lipoma, and it's just 12 weeks and minus a day that I'm going to be with Chef AJ, and um, I was able to go back and find the video of when Dr. McDougall was talking to me. So I might be able to attach that to the end of this. I thought I talked over the top of them completely. I was just completely so psyched out, excited. I get, I have an overactive nervous system. <laughs> so once it, once it's charged, I'm always thinking ahead and racing ahead. And so even when I make videos, I might be talking, but my mouth can't even keep up with my brain. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, makes for a lot of editing. Anyway. If you go to drmcdougall.com, this is free information, you're gonna find the information for free. You could even put it in your search browser and you can print, probably could even print this thing out. But here it is online, it says drmcdougall.com, McDougall program, program Maximum Weight Loss 10 Point Checklist and Recipes. It was published in 2019. So let's just go over these. Uh, if you need a little kickstart or would like to add some meals with low calorie density, try some of our maximum weight loss recipes. I'm not going to be using a lot of recipes. Uh, basically, he was saying to keep it really simple. So I, I have a tendency of eating the same thing over and over and over again. That's one of my husband's biggest complaints about the way that I eat. He's like, you're just so happy eating the same thing over and over again. And he says that he wants more variety. So for for these 12 weeks, I'm just gonna keep it extremely simple, which means I'm not gonna be making recipes. I'm, I'm not even gonna be using the recipes. Why? Because when you start blending foods together, it's less work for your body, and we don't wanna take away and reduce the amount of work that our body needs to, uh, to break it down. Uh, so we want, because it's burning calories by breaking the breaking and the food down and going through the process. So I'm going to skip recipes. The, I'm going to keep it so simple. It's going to be baked uh, sweet potatoes mostly, unless I run out. And then it's going to be the sweet potato fries. I like the air fryer. We got a, a, We have a new air fryer that's part of the toaster oven. I, I love it. Uh, I had gotten one of those little topper things that goes over your Instant Pot and it was just so small. I couldn't hardly do but a few fries and it seemed like it burned. So the, the toaster oven style air fryer works fantastic. Now he says, to, um, this particular thing, it says to follow the 50-50 plate method for your meals, filling half your plate by visual volume with non-starchy vegetables and 50% by visual volume with minimally processed starches, choosing fruit for dessert. So in his book, The McDougall Program for Maximum Weight Loss, he has three plates. So the last plate, which he calls it the hasty plate, is one-third starch. That's what I'm aiming for. Now yesterday, I think I ate more starches. Yesterday I ate, um, I ate a nectarine for breakfast. Then I had that big salad that I showed you yesterday and I ate almost all of it. There was probably an eighth of it left in there. Then I had my sweet potato fries with one pound of sweet potatoes. Then I still wanted something, so I had, and I don't know if it was a cup or two, 
of Peruvian beans that I had already cooked in my refrigerator. They were already pre-prepared. And I added, I don't know if I added a half a cup or less of corn. And then I had my oatmeal. And in my oatmeal, I just, I just drizzled, so maybe a teaspoon of maple syrup on the top and I ate it. Cause he said, don't, don't cook it in there and don't, you know, mix it all in there cause then you're gonna eat more. And I wanna be staying away from those sugar, meaning like maple syrup or plain sugar type uh, food because I'm wanting my body to burn up this stored energy that I have on me. Okay, now he says greatly reduce or eliminate added sugars and added salts. This includes gourmet sugars and salts too. If either is troublesome for you, you can eliminate them. So I'm keeping it just to flavor it so that I'll eat it. So it's just sprinkled on top after you cook something. Um, eliminate all animal, we know that. We're not gonna eat any animal foods. Eliminate all higher fat plant foods. That's the nuts, seeds, and avocados, tofu, and soy. So none of that right now. Uh, this is temporary. This is a temporary version. Okay, eliminate any added oils. We know that, so no going out for me, which I, I don't normally go. If I go out, I take my food or, or pre-eat. Okay, eliminate all higher dense foods, including flour products, which uh, here it says, Bread, bagels, muffins, crackers, dry cereal, cookies, cakes, puffed cereals, air popped popcorn, and dried fruit. Okay, that means that I'm not gonna be eating my tortillas. So I thought, well, because my body needs to do the work to break it down, so I, but I can eat whole corn. So I put my frozen corn in my food yesterday and I enjoyed it, it was perfectly great. And the way I ate my beans was I add the chili powder, a little bit, little bit of salt, and I like the Cholula sauce on the top. Uh, follow these principles, eating whenever you're hungry until you're comfortably full. Don't starve yourself. You don't have to be hungry. And you, you know, unless, I mean, it's appropriately hungry. So you don't starve yourself and don't stuff yourself. Avoid being sedentary. But some of us, we need to get up and move a little bit and aim for at least 30 minutes or more of moderate exercise, a daily, you know, brisk walk. That's all I'm doing right now because I have a problem uh, with my neck, the, a nerve, and it's causing numbness in my fingers. Uh, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing the rowing machine or anything right now. Just walking. I'm trying to walk as quickly as I can for a couple, a couple times a day. I have a, a puppy that's eight months old. She's a standard poodle. She needs a lot of exercise, so it makes me get up and go out there. And plus she keeps me from falling down. I uh, try to get 30 minutes of brisk walking a day. The corn tortilla, that was a big one for me. Removing my cashew, <laughs> my cashew and my seeds for seed cycling. And now mentioning not to have, eliminate dry fruit. So yesterday when I made that salad dressing that had two dates in it, I'm gonna have to f figure out something else out. So what I'm gonna try today, I'm gonna, and I wanna mention too about fibromyalgia. When I listened to a new video that uh, Chef AJ put up of Dr. McDougall on Saturday night, it was about autoimmune diseases and he, he mentioned fibromyalgia, which has to do with tendonitis, which I didn't know there was a link there, but, and I do have tendonitis. Raw really does help. So if you have fibromyalgia, try to eat as much raw vegetables as you can. And so I remember when I was doing raw, I had so much energy, I had a lot more energy, but then again, I would miss, I wasn't satiated all the, I, I missed the potatoes. So, so now I'm thinking back and it was like, even when I did fruitarian, we were allowed we were allowed on the, it was Dr. Morse Herbs, that was the program. Uh, I was allowed a sweet potato if I wanted. I just didn't do it. I, I did a lot of mono meals. I would do watermelon water. It was delicious, but because I was pureeing my vegetables and drinking tons of smoothies, smoothies, I was getting way too many calories. So I was, I was very, very heavy. I weighed 50 pounds more than I do now. So I don't recommend it for a long term. For fibromyalgia, the raw veggies, the raw non-starchy veggies 
They're super good. They're very, very helpful for us. And yesterday I topped my salad with my fruit. It was delicious. Now today, and what I decided I would do because I'm trying to avoid the salad dressings, I, I'm gonna go try to find a Grey Poupon name brand. I, it wasn't in one of the stores I go to. We have the one that I buy here, which has 11 grams of fat, which my husband said it was 11 grams of fat per one eighth of a jar. It does have a lot of fat. So I need to go find a zero fat a Dijon mustard and maybe then I would do a three, two, one dressing. No, I wouldn't because that has maple syrup in, maple syrup in it. So just to make it more simple for myself, we do here in Mexico, we do a botanical, which is little, little like veggie sticks and they put them in a, in a tub, like a, like a one liter tub. And you can buy them on the beach. You can buy them in the, you prepared in the grocery stores. And then you, and you can find little stands on the side of the road, and then you sprinkle um, lime juice over the top of it, and you put some tahine, which is like some spicy stuff on top, is the way the Mexicans like to have it. And I'm thinking, ooh, it's getting warmer now. I'm gonna make botanicals. That'll be my non-starchy veggies. So I have some non-starchy veggies that were ones that I like to cook. I might gift them to my son. Uh, and just go for the botanicals and eat my botanicals as my non-starchy veggies, which is going to have carrots, celery, jicama, zucchini, cucumbers. Cucumbers are really yummy in it. And then make, make a big old botanical and try to ratio it out where I'm having three quarters of that is my diet every day and then just one third will be my sweet potato, my sweet potato fries or just the sweet baked potato. And also having my half a cup of oats, my half a cup of oatmeal, and just drizzling the one teaspoon of maple syrup on top. And I think I can stick with that for 12 weeks. I think I can. I think I'll like it. Also, in my botanical, I which we they don't normally sell botanicals with broccoli in it, but I think I could throw in some broccoli and cauliflower and to the side. And I'll just sprinkle lime juice on the top and maybe something spicy, something, you know, red paper, red paper flakes, or I'll probably try chili powder on the top just to see what I think about it. And because I don't know if the tahine has sugar in it or not, but I'm running, I'm rambling here. So I hope this helps you. And you were able to write down these, these tips on here, or if you don't want to write them down, just go to drmcdougall.com and look up the McDougall Program Maximum Weight Loss 10-point checklist. Okay, so Dr. McDougall said keep it really, really simple and focus on those clean starches. Yeah. All right. Take care and God bless you. Let me give you the key to accomplishing that 20, 30 pounds by July. Okay. You, is you need to, it's, it's simplicity. The more you can be monotonous in your eating, the more you can eat the same things over and over again. Of course, you know, we're, we're, we're honing down on really clean starches. You will accomplish this. I, again, Mary and I, this is the way we live and encourage lots of people to live this way because it takes a lot of thought out of it. And you just pick the foods you like and just repeat them over and over again and make mm -hmm. sure no, no seeds, avocados, no eating out. <laughs> You'll do it. I know you can do it. I was. Mm -hmm. I want you to check back in with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it. Thank you. Lori, great Believe to hear me. from you. Wait long. All right. Lastly, what he wrote to me was the more repetitive and simple you can make it without being hungry or bored, the better you will do with improvements for health and weight loss. Small indiscretions have a big payoff. The preferred destination of fat on your plate is fat on your hips. So the body is not going to burn this precious substance. This fat is for storage. Get the nuts and seeds and non-dairy desserts out of the house and no eating out. Of course, when I go out, I just pre-eat or take it with me. But there you have it. Now, if you haven't ever purchased uh, Dr. McDougall's book for maximum weight loss. I really encourage you to get a copy or an audio 
version and take a listen because there's he, he gives us all the information for free pretty great all right I have this is what it looks like I have to go somewhere today and I've, I've already put some lime juice on here and I have my a pound of sweet potato in the air fryer Here's an example of what I'm eating. This was full. I had one pound of lengthwise cut zucchini, and I had uh, two cucumbers. I have also a, a nectarine in there, and here's a half a cup of oats that I'll eat later. I had one pound of sweet potato. I already ate half of it. I put it on the air fryer with some garlic powder and pepper and a little bit of salt. And when I do have my oats, which is a half a cup of oats, I'll use just, I'll drizzle just a teaspoon of maple syrup of it on the top after it's been cooked. I'm just keeping it super simple and I'm thinking I'm gonna eat something similar to this every day. I'm wanting a banana right now. So I threw a banana in there too. And now I might do this, you know, a couple times a day. I don't know yet. I may, uh, like I said, have another, another one of these with cucumbers or something. I really like the cucumbers. This is my bean soup, whole bean soup. It's one and a half to two cups of Peruvian beans in their juice, whoops, that I uh, cook them in. And it has one third cup of frozen corn, a teaspoon of chili powder. And I'm gonna top it with some Cholula sauce. And that's what I'm gonna do today, all right? You can do, let me know what you're doing. Okay, bye. All right, so I showed you what I'm eating in a day, and tomorrow I'll let you know if I added any more food to it, because I feel like some of you might be wanting to start this and want the information. subscribe please